all communicating with each other at the moment. They're giving those vocalizations as okay. might be able to hear it. Now it always this always reminds me of that movie Jurassic Park. And I'll tell you why. Um, do you remember that scene in the original Jurassic Park where that I think it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It leans down and looks into the car and gives that gives that almost growl sound. <laughs> I'm certain they used the the noise an elephant makes <laughs> for that sound because it sounds so similar. It's like I, I call it like a gurgling, like a gurgling grumble, growl. That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> These youngsters are always so playful. Always wonderful to watch them. That, that youngster's suckling there at the moment while the female is eating, chewing on a branch. I could sit with elephant suckers for ages. What a great start to the morning, I think, you know, it just kind of sets the tone for the day. And it's so calm and peaceful. Living amongst giants. Yeah, I think Chantal, that's a good idea. Why don't you give us a one-word tweet on what do you think, or how, or describe the sighting to us, um, what it means to you, or how it makes you feel. Actually, a lovely silhouette of that elephant. Uh, hashtag Safari Live. Send us your one word. We're sitting with these magnificent creatures. As they're moving through this burnt area, obviously they, they're kicking up a bit of dust and, and you get that wonderful, it's actually a nice smell, this smell of burnt, almost, uh, I don't know if any of you back home can relate to this, listen to that, that's that sound that I'm talking about that I think sounds like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. As I was saying, this burnt smell, so the, the burnt vegetation, the grass, the trees, the branches, and the dust in the air, you get that wonderful burnt smell of vegetation, of, of wood. If you think of when you put a fire out with, with a bit of water, you get that smell too. Charcoal, kind of, but not quite charcoal. Charcoal is, I suppose, a stronger scent. And I often say, you know, sightings like this don't really have to say much, and especially if I had guests on the vehicle with me, I'd probably just sit here quietly. We've had the whole herd walk past us, we've had, had a big female come very close to us. It's just so wonderful to view. Sharon, you say it's soothing. Some of the one word tweets coming through. Soothing, yes, Sharon, definitely. Forest, wander, forest wanderers, you say peaceful. 
Definitely is peaceful. Definitely is peaceful. And what I love about this is yesterday afternoon we had an exciting afternoon with wild dogs, wild dogs on the hunt, making an impala kill, feeding the frenzy of the feed, um, the hyenas coming in. It, it's exciting, it's intense. And then the bush has the ability to have these peaceful moments, these soothing moments, the words that you used, compared to that intense um, high energy. It, you know, we, we experience all those feelings out here, which I find really wonderful. And that's why I think nature in general is, is, is just amazing. And I, I do think that a lot of people lose that connection with nature, which is sad. And often when, I know when I get people out on safari, you know, it's nice to see the animals and appreciate the wildlife, but, but to try and reconnect people with nature, I think is very important. It's my tip of the day. Byron's tip of the day. Take time to reconnect with nature. I think we're going to move on from this elephant now. So we go see what else we can find. We'll drive around a little bit. 